Ladies and gentlemen, this is a 2023 Acura TLX A-Spec sedan. And this is the sort of sport package before you move up to the Type S with its more powerful turbo engine on the Acura TLX, which of course is Acura's mid-sized luxury sedan. Very nice looking car, and what I'm going to do for you today is review it. We are going to go over the styling features and show you what the A-Spec package gives you there. We will look at the engine and the transmission on this car. We will measure out the cargo space. We'll look at the passenger room. We'll have a look at the interior features and also the safety features. And as always, if some of that sounds interesting and some of it sounds boring, check the description below for timestamps. First, we will talk about the styling on the TLX, which is probably one of its strongest suits. Any TLX has very nice proportions. I like these sort of muscular bulges in the hood. You can see that when you're driving the car and that looks nice. It is a very, very nice looking luxury sedan that has to be one of its primary selling points. When you move up to the A-Spec model, you do get the sportier trim, which has become very in vogue these days amongst automobile buyers. You have the dark gray, what Acura calls shark gray, 19 inch rims. You have various bits of black trim on the exterior of the car. The window surrounds are black. You have some black trim on the front bumper. You also have black trim on the rear bumper where the license plate is. And you have the little black ducktail spoiler on the trunk. That's a nice touch as well. The only real functional element that you gain on the exterior of the vehicle when you go with the A-Spec is the LED fog lights. Those are not included on the lower trim models, but they are standard on the A-Spec TLX. One other minor styling feature to note is the color combination on this particular car. If you want the Apex blue paint and the red interior, you have to go with at least a TLX A-Spec. You can also go all the way up to the TLX Type S, but those are the only two packages that are available with these two sporty colors in the TLX line. Now we'll take a look under the hood where the TLX A-Spec gives you a two liter turbo engine with 272 horsepower, 280 torque. It is a very nice engine. It's very smooth. It does its job quite well. I do somewhat lament the lack of a naturally aspirated V6 as an option on the TLX A-Spec like you could get on the old body style, but this engine does its job just fine and apparently gets better gas mileage according to the EPA ratings. All new TLX models come equipped with a 10-speed automatic transmission. Honda and Acura use this very commonly across the line. It is a very good transmission. It's got a lot of gears, so it does a lot of shifting, but the shifts are smooth, and it's almost always in the correct gear, so it never annoys. The only real options as far as powertrain goes on a TLX is do you want front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive? The base and the technology package uh, both are only front wheel drive. The A-Spec model is actually the only one where it's an option. You can get the A-Spec with either front wheel drive or super handling all wheel drive. If you move up to an TLX Advance or a Type S, then you will have the super handling all wheel drive as standard equipment. All right, now we are going to measure out the cargo space. And if you have one of these cars and you're wondering just how do you open the trunk from the back, just go ahead and press that button. As long as the car's unlocked, you have your key on you, it will open. The length from the rear of the trunk to the back of the back seat with the back seat up, three feet and six inches. The width of the trunk at the rear of the trunk, which is the widest point, four feet and seven inches. The width of the trunk at the narrower point, kind of in between this piece and this piece, three feet and three inches. And just to be hyper thorough, the width of the trunk at the narrowest point right there, just before the back seat, two feet and 10 inches. And if I pull this down, then we can fold that back seat forward. Same thing for the other side. And the length of the cargo area from the back of the trunk to the back of that front seat right there with the back seat folded down is five feet and 10 inches approximately. I say approximately because it is possible that you could change that a little bit by moving that front seat forward or back, but it's in kind of a mid position right now. So we'll call it five feet, 10 inches. And if you need to lift something into the back of your Acura TLX, 
you will need to lift it two feet and four inches. And just for fun, if we look under here, we have the tire inflation kit and the little funnel for the capless gas cap. And somewhere under here is the battery, but you can jumpstart it from under the hood because it does have the little uh, hookups in there. Now we'll have a look at the passenger space. And for this measurement, I like to use myself. I'm six foot five, so let's see if I can sit behind myself in a TLX. Okay, so as we can see here, the answer to that question is no. Here is the passenger seat. It was kind of set to where I could sit. I was very upright and my head was almost touching the roof, but I did have good knee and leg room. But in the back, you can see behind me, nobody is sitting there. The situation's even slightly worse behind my driver's seat. So yeah, interior space is really not this car's bag, unfortunately. Uh, but we do have rear air vents for our backseat passengers, so that's a nice touch. If you're not as tall as me, you can probably put somebody who's not as tall as me behind you. But uh, yeah, on the extreme Dietrich six foot five test, unfortunately, the TLX fails. Now we're gonna talk about the interior features on the Acura TLX A-Spec. And the first thing you will notice when you get into any A-Spec Acura are the seats. This particular one has the sport seats with the Milano leather and micro suede upholstery. You also have the contrasted stitching and piping. As I said earlier, these are finished in the red color, which is exclusive to an A-Spec. We also have the geometric pattern brushed aluminum trim. This is also exclusive to the TLX A-Spec. The flat bottom steering wheel with the red stitching and the A-Spec logo is also very on brand there. Uh, one functional thing that you do get on the interior of the vehicle is the heated seats. This goes along with the standard cooled seats on the TLX A-Spec. And you have the wireless charging pad. That's another thing that you get with the A-Spec package, so you can charge your phone wirelessly. The other pad right ahead of it is Acura's True Touch Pad. This is what you use to interact with the touch screen and do all of your stuff with that. The true touchpad comes in for some flack on the internet. A lot of people complain about it. And I will admit it's not the most intuitive thing in the world. But what I have found is the more that I drive these cars, the less I actually interact with it unless I need to change the settings on the vehicle. What I have gotten accustomed to is actually using the voice commands, which are very, very good on these cars. Allow me to demonstrate. Satellite channel eight. Playing channel eight, eight is on eight. Ninety three point one FM. Playing ninety three point one FM. Find me a gas station. Please make a selection by name or line number. Cancel. Go to 2775 Mesa Verde Drive East, Costa Mesa, California. more information for 2775 Mesa Verde Drive East. Would you like to begin a route? No. Call Richard Dick and you knows. Calling Richard Dick and I knows mobile. So instead of using the true touchpad for those common things, I just use the voice commands. Try it out in your own TLX if you have one of these. They also work in the current body style MDX and RDX. It's a little easier than using that true touchpad, although again, the true touchpad isn't that bad. It's just also not that great. 
Now we'll move on to the safety features on this vehicle, and it does have what Acura calls Acura Watch. The Acura Watch is the suite of active safety features that includes the adaptive cruise control, the collision mitigation braking, so it can uh, hit the brakes if it thinks it's going to be in an accident. You have the forward collision warning, so it'll tell you to hit the brakes first before it does, the lane departure warning, the lane keeping assist system, the road departure mitigation, and the traffic jam assist. You also have the parking sensors front and rear on the TLX A spec, and that does give you the low speed emergency braking, so it speeds below five miles per hour if it thinks you're going to back into something or hit something in the front it will apply the brakes that's based on the parking sensors and of course you have the blind spot information system the blind spot monitor that's the little lights that tell you when there's a car in your blind spot with the rear cross traffic monitor so it will tell you if there is a car coming behind you when you're trying to back out of your parking place thank you so much for watching my video on this 2023 acura tlx a spec Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment. And if you didn't, just do all that stuff anyway. It's fine. It doesn't cost you any money. It's free.